cocktail but the Marari was one of the few things to shape the landscape of the Magic the Gathering universe. Few things have gone to cross as much damage as the Marari. Basically it was it was abandoned by Karn who was a who was also a planeswalker and it was found in an abandoned mansion and it was offered up as a prize for whoever wanted a pit fight. The victor was also the loser because the Marari began to corrupt him. It was it corrupted Kurt, Kurtar into decimating the entire order. Event eventually Ka Kamahal buried it in the heart of the Crusan forest but it didn't end there. A wave of power mutating energy began to ra radiate from out from out of the Marari and slowly creep crept its way across Atari or Toria, twisting and warping the contents of its inhabitants into nightmare versions of their former selves. Massive damage ensued and, and finally came to a head when Kam Kamahal traveled back into Krosa to retrieve his sword and used it to kill the false god Croson. Corona, Corona, not to be confused with the beer. At that point, Karn popped in and took the, took back the Marari. So yeah. Basically, the Marari is a pretty badass in inanimate object. Let's get started on this drink. This recipe is gonna have one ounce of raspberry vodka. It's also gonna have half ounce of gold slugger. New bottle. It's also gonna have half one ounce of Midori. And then we're gonna give it two ounces of apple juice and then we're gonna top it off with Perrier soda water so we'll start out with one ounce of raspberry vodka Actually, you know what? We're not going to put Midori in it. So, this recipe is going to have one ounce of raspberry vodka and half ounce of gold slugger and one ounce of apple juice. So, and I'm going with Martinelli. Martinelli is a really awesome apple juice. If you ever had it, definitely say try it. It's good shit, yo. You know what? We could just drizzle the, mar mar the whatever in. So, and now, half ounce of gold slogar. This is a cinnamon schnapps, and it's one of the, and it's pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so let's get some ice in here. Now 
look at some ice in here. Give it a half ounce of Midori, just to give it some color. So, now we're just going to float a little bit of Midori right on there. Just a half ounce, just to give it some color. It's fine. And now, just top it off with soda water. Perrier. And for once it did exactly what I wanted. So, here we have the Marari. There's nice green at the bottom. Nice clarity on top. <sighs> if I could, I would try to give it a little bit of a met metallic look to it since the Marari was, a mir was pretty much a mirror ball. So, yeah. So, making it clear is the best I can really do, so, yeah. Alright, let's try it out. Big ass straw right there. pretty interesting you can feel it you can totally feel it corrupting your mind but yeah you're getting a nice you're getting a nice well driven cinnamon flavor from the sit from the gold slugger as well as a little bit of apple juice and of course you're getting that raspberry vodka With nights with little notes of Midori in the finish. So yeah, you get a nice gold slugger, raspberry, apple juice flavor with nice raspberry notes in the fi with nice Midori notes in the finish, nice melon notes in the finish. It's a pretty nice cocktail. Like I said, I, I kind of like I said, I wanted to give it a kind of a metallic look, but there's not too much that can really do that, so. Yeah. It works for me. Alright. The Marari Cocktail. Part of Magic the Gathering Cocktails Month. Thank you for watching. My name is Rourke for Drinking with Dragons. We are exploring the world of alcohol. See you next time and drink responsibly. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Worn out faces.